Hello and welcome back to GMVR with Gabe Mack in the case playing The Great Fusion. Let's get into it, shall we? Can we go back to... Is there a way to, to the, return to, to the bar? To the bar? Oh, here. You can go down the bar here. Let's... Uh, the olive, the olive is right there. Let's grab the olive. Don't touch that. Uh, I need it, dude. I need your olive. Okay, dude, why can't I have your olive? Uh, do you mind if I take your olive, man? They're all mine. Get your own. So there's no way you'll give me one. You're pissing me off. I said no. I'll just get one. You know, it's not that big a deal. I'm going to have to kick your ass. Go away. All right, I'm leaving now. I don't want to be annoying. Obviously, we got to figure, out another, figure out another way. Let's talk to the barman. No, you're but pissed off. Oh, he should know where the fucking plug is. I need a plug for the kitchen sink. Ah, okay. I don't know where it is. It's your problem. Fucker. All right, Johnny. Maybe you got something plugged up uh, your butt that you could give us? Are you being friendly or are you going to beat me up? How's business? Oh, let's ask him how the business is. Hey, how's business? To be honest, I'm getting loaded since the fusion mess started. I never thought that selling candy in front of schools was going to be so lucrative. <laughs> Did you know that there are people that don't approve of strangers giving sweets to children at school? Why don't they keep buying them wherever they've been buying them from until now instead of buying from them from you? Very interesting. See you later. Which one, A or B? Uh, B. Why don't they keep buying them from you? Haven't you noticed that there are more and more stores closing down lately? Almost all of them are either selling their business or their property, and obviously nobody can afford them. That even includes the shops that used to sell candy, newspapers, and all that sorts of things. That's where I come in. Ooh. Do you know that there are people that don't approve of strangers giving sweets to children? Yeah. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Wouldn't you be one of them? No, of course not. Go on. Clean those psycho dwarves out. <laughs> it's the parents who buy them from me anyways. What? So it's going well then. Are you insulting that my goods might be dangerous? Of course not. Well, of course they are. For information, they are 98% refined sugar. The rest is cut with cinnamon. <laughs> you should see the kids going crazy for it. I've never seen anything like it. Very interesting. See, see you, you later. later. Well. How do we get them? Let's talk to them. Um, how are you? Piss off. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we need to lure him away? Huh. Lure, lure him away? Do, 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 do. Let's just keep on annoying the shit out of him. Let's really just annoy him. Let's just go all the way. All the way. You haven't been eating any for a while. In the end, they'll just be thrown away. Oh my god, take as many as you want, but bloody hell, leave me alone. Yes! Uh, all right, thank you. Grab the olive. Awesome. Now we can plug up the sink. Yeah. Plug it up. Here we go. We're about to plug up the sink with the olive. Yes. <laughs> It could be used as a cork. Yes, of course. That's, That's the whole idea. The, the whole point. Good. Now you can turn the water on. Okay. Good. And now we can put the soap, soap in, in the water. Hopla. Yes. And now we can put the mouse in the soap. So now we got a clean mouse. And now we're going to take the mouse and we're going to put it all over these soapy dishes. Yo. Look at that. Look, improviser dishwasher is working. I can now leave and let her do her job. Excellent. Way to go. Um... Is there anything else we should do? No, well, we did our job. We have to just go back to the barman again. No, should we just leave? Yeah, sure. I mean, let's just leave the back door now, yeah? Oh, oh hello. Hello. Oh, matey's there. Ooh. You, feel, you want to sit in the chair next to me? No, it's, it's, I have to. It's okay like this. Okay. You want to do her or... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm doing bait. Do you, you want to do her voice? My, 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 <laughs> yeah, do you, would you no, like to do her? Uh, Catalina, huh? Yeah, yeah, sure, She's yeah, got yeah. a little bit of that Mexican flavor I know you uh, like. Uh, Catalina, hola. She's a little Latinino, huh? I know that it kind of fights right. your boat, huh? Who do we talk to? So. What are we doing? We're 
talking to my the mate. Yeah. Hey, matey, what's up? Well, you're already here in good company, I see. Mm, yes, I was waiting for you here. Tell your friend to waste my time if he doesn't have any cash. He might, he may, he might pay. Oh shit. <laughs> well, no, no, it's just misunderstanding. I saying, I mean, that maybe, um, er, um, you know. I think, I think his head is going to explode. Don't worry, man. Catalina and I have been friends for a while. Come on, leave her alone. Let's go to my place and check that CD out. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I didn't know you were up for these things. What? What are you talking about? I know each other from, co we know each other from college. Oops, I thought that she, well, you know. Oh, well, she is indeed a prostitute. What are you feeling engineers on? Jeez, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm not touching anything. I'm telling you later. I'll see you later, Catalina. <laughs> you, if I start talking, then... I swear that I was talking to you about the weather. Of course you were. <laughs> Case can't read quick enough. No. <laughs> A little later at Max's place. I had to enslave a poor rat so I could save you see your mysterious discovery in just a video game from the 70s? Oh, they're oh, playing Pong. That's disappointing. Pong. Well, it could have actually been something interesting. Actually, if you think about it, it's not that bad. This is the first video game ever made. Classics never die. You're right. Let's have a look at the credits. I'm curious to see how many people actually programmed this thing. Doom, doom. Mm. Doom. I wonder who they'll say that programmed it because, you know, there's a whole conspiracy, you know, between Nolan Bushnell and uh, Ray Kutzner Koitscher or something like that about who invented Pong first. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no, this can't be true. What What the fuck just happened? Sure. Oh, copyright. What? It's copyrighted. We have to get rid of this or we'll die. What if someone saw us? Shouldn't we take it to the police? You already know what happens to those who hand these things over to the police. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, we you haven't you seen the amount of optimized people out there already? I'm lost. Lobotomized people. The game of for real, man. Let's say, for example, Mike, this fishmonger, he managed to get his hands on a novel about from the black market, Game of Phones. You are breaking the law. Come with us. Aren't you supposed to read me right, rights? What rights are you talking about? Nowadays, his wife takes him to the park on a wheelchair with a blanket covering his legs while he dribbles. I thought he was like that because he watched too much Big Brother. That's what they want us to believe, but it's not true. Johnny from the doormat shot was caught listening to an illegal copy of Justin Bieber. Now he needs to be able to need a straw to be able to eat. I'm going to have a really good time with this one. Of course, but everyone knows there are side effects caused by his music. <laughs> No, as horrible as his music can be, the worst thing that can happen to you is suffering its transitory embolism. You're not left as a vegetable. This is all done by the government. They silence anyone who can potentially spread out and out there and just work with copyright by brainwashing them. So they don't have to know. All we have to do is tell them that we found it. I'm not sure. These guys know everything. They're going to find out. So what do we do then? Yes, I scored! <laughs> hey, don't push me! <laughs> don't cheat then! What are you talking about? It's not my problem if you don't know how to play. <laughs> Wait a minute, it's already daytime. Shit, I'm late for work. I'll stay a bit longer. Sometimes familiarity can be nauseating. I said don't push me! Okay. Well, I think that's a good time to uh, stop it for today. Thanks a lot for uh, watching uh, uh, the great fusion here on GMVR with Gabe Mac in the case. Thank Make sure guys. to subscribe to see more episodes. Um, share with your friends and uh, like if you like our voices and uh, the game. Till next time, Shroomies. Stay cool. Bye-bye.